We should talk a bit about this astonishing current chapter. In, 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 in the, did you have an inkling when you first saw Jesse's script that this was going to be absolutely huge? Well, you're very lucky if you can see Jesse's script. Well, at is all. that how it works? Yeah. You just get given it. Other last yeah, it's one minute. of the best kept secrets until you start to <laughs> actually perform it. I mean, they've been, we've been having a lot of problems with the script, I see, because they get later and later. And later. that's the writer's thing, you know. Of course. Don't get me started on writers, <laughs> you know. And, 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 and you know, they're great, they're wonderful, but they're late. They're get nine months to make the program <laughs> and finally we're saying oh we've just finished episode whatever it is now and uh, it's coming to you, you start filming on monday and and, and we're supposed to do instant acting of course you know are, i yeah. mean and the, the lack of understanding of what we do as actors just drives me nuts. Well, you're just tools for, for, well, the, for, exactly. the, for the vision, to, for the vision for the, for of the, the writer. Yes, tools exactly. For the that. vision, and that's what we have to do. And uh, <laughs> oh, oh, know he, your place. You know <laughs> your place exactly. It's it's very uh, you know it's it's, it's uh, what's the word. You know, everybody in their place. Of you know. course. And, but did you know? I mean, did you know early on? Well, in, I did. In, you know, when they did the pitch to me, uh, I mean, it was a pitch actually. It was not a script. Right. Uh, and I. I was here. Actually, I was. I was. I have a. I live in New York, but I was. I have a place here. So I was in my flat here, and I got this phone call. My manager said they're going to call you. Uh, they're interested in you for this this show that they want to do. Uh, and Adam McKay, or we would say Mackay, but Adam McKay. <laughs> I don't, I've never understood why they do that. In America, but they do. Adam McKay and Jesse Armstrong, who's yeah. the show creator, is going to call you. Well, Jesse Armstrong was in Italy. Adam McKay was in L.A. So we had a three-way conversation, and they pitched the show to me, and I knew straight away. I thought this is a winner, because also in in in, in, in you know, I mean, Jesse would hate this probably, but you know, and. Those shows have always been very successful. If you think of Dynasty, yeah. you think of Dallas, you think of all those shows that have dealt with that. They've always worked, mm -hmm. you know, Falcon Crest. They've always had a sort of value to them. So I knew that this show would work at one level. Because of work, that dynamic. Because of that, that dynamic, right, okay. you know, and it's a great dynamic. And, of course, in Jesse's hands, it's... It's phenomenal. It's, it's phenomenal yeah. because he is a phenomenal writer and he's and he's tough as old get out. I mean, he's a is tough he? guy. Oh, yeah. yeah. He, he, he doesn't appear to be, but he is. He gets what he wants. He gets what he wants. <laughs> he's a man who gets what he wants, you know, and uh, and he does what he wants as well. Yeah. So there's no getting around that. And that's fine. Sure. Because that feeds you. And, uh, and, and Logan is a great role. And I, I think I've also brought something to it uh, in, in a way that was not necessarily originally there that came more and more as I became in, involved with the role. Uh, and, uh, the, the, and that's why I have great empathy for Logan. I don't see him as the villain that everybody else sees him oh, as. Yeah. Well, naturally, I wouldn't see him as the villain because see, you, the, the, you don't judge your character. It would be fatal to do that. And, and again, as, as again, as, as, as run through this whole conversation, it's very, very much a, a community piece, an that's ensemble right. of piece. That's right. And, so. and that's that's the great strength of our group. Absolutely. You know, we have an amazing group and we have, you know, actors like McFadgen, Sarah, 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 Sarah mm. Snook, uh, Jeremy, Jeremy Strong, lovely Kieran. I mean, they're all so extraordinary. Mm. Alan Rock, you know, they all... They're just a great group to work with, and that's that's the that'll be the saddest thing when the show eventually comes to an end is the, the people I've been working with, and yeah. that's always a sad thing. When anything ends, it's the people you've been working with. It's not so much the venture; it's the actual the community again that, that you've been part of or you've created. You, you know? talk about having sympathy or empathy for for, for 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 the character Logan Roy. That's why some of the obvious attempts to make it about the Murdochs or about Rupert Murdoch. That's where they fail, isn't it? Because I well, I'm, I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said that, James, because I think that's absolutely true. I, I, I think that the, the, the point is they're not the Murdochs. No. They are a little bit more aware than the Murdochs. And that's what makes it a little bit. And that's what gives it more edge mm. so that Logan knows that he's made choices in his life. In the same way that John Cardwell has made choices in his life, and 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 you and you stand and fall by those choices, it's not for one to judge what those choices are. It's for one to accept that these are his set of circumstances, and you have to acknowledge those set of circumstances, and understand that that's part of the human dilemma, that we you know we achieve harmony through considerable cost, but it's worth it, 
And, uh, and I think that that's what's so interesting about Logan. I, I have a great empathy for Logan because I see Logan's journey as one of deprivation. Yeah. I don't see it as, I, I, I think he is deprived, even though he seems to be the richest man in the world, but he's a very angry man. Mm. And he's very angry because there's something that's missing at the fundament of his life, which is love and care that he never had, that he had certainly had this mother. But when he went to, you know, the idea was that he, uh, he was, a, well, initially the guy was born in Quebec, Canada, and then they changed it and they had him born in Dundee, which he only changed on the ninth episode of the first series. <laughs> When they came and said, uh, you know, Peter Friedman said, oh, by the way, they've, they've uh, changed your birthplace. <laughs> and I went, what? They, they've changed your birthplace. I said, uh, you're no longer born in Quebec. Now, I always thought it was odd I was born in Quebec anyway because uh, I'm not sure if Jesse's very good at geography because originally he said it's an American guy. He's American. He's American. As far as I know, uh, Quebec is in Canada. Still. So he would be Canadian. Yes. <laughs> but yes. that came to me late because yeah. I was playing an American and then I, I was then I discovered he was born in Quebec. And then he said, oh, you left Quebec very early. I could <laughs> so He doesn't remember Quebec. Yeah, that's right. Right. I remember. So I went, oh, that's fine. But then when, it, when, when, when they suddenly, on the ninth episode, you know, Peter Freeman said they've changed your birthplace and I said so uh, what do you mean they changed my birthplace I said you're no longer born in Quebec I said so where am I born and he had to go to his device I said oh I can't remember <laughs> but he went to his device and said oh yeah here it is you're, you're, yeah you're born in something called Dundee Scotland how funny and I oh, said delightful. I said but that's where I was born. Yeah. And then he said, oh, that's a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> I said, that's a hell of a coincidence. I said, what is he talking about? I mean, you know, <laughs> he's born. I'm not born in Dundee. He's, and then I went to Jeremy and Jesse, and I said, Je and he said, oh, we thought it'd be a little, this is right as far. We thought it'd be a little surprise. You know, and, and so, I mean, they do talk to you as if you're about three years old and you've just got a bunch of sweeties in your stocking or something <laughs> at Christmas. Him on there, give yeah. him a biscuit. <laughs> He'll be all right. Yeah. Yeah, off exactly. you go, off you go. Exactly. Go and do your acting. <laughs> just, just do, go and do your acting. Exactly. And I just thought, wait a minute, wait a minute. And then he oh, said, and then he said what he said about Quebec, but he left Dundee very early. <laughs> 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 oh, I see. <laughs>